It looks like the reinforcement in the attack areas that Brendan Rodgers requested at the weekend might be coming to fruition at last. It looks like we have one player that is in Glasgow. There's another deal that looks like it has just been done. Matthias Kitsford Garden. We did have two offers for the player. We had one player, one offer at four million this morning rejected, another one at four point one million rejected, and it looks like they have accepted five million euros to sell the player which is fantastic for Celtic because we are a bit short in the striking department um, the good thing about it is we get another player in before the weekend and he has been scoring goals I'll give you a bit of an update about the player and tell me what you think about it in the comments make sure that you give the video a massive massive thumbs up now this guy can play a centre forward which will be good because it allows us to sort of rescue Ogo a bit, but he can also play on the left and the right wing, so he has that flexibility about him, which will allow Kyogo to come through the middle a little bit more, so it could be fantastic for us. He sits at 1.74 metres high, he is 21 years old, and his current contract was set to expire in June 2027. He has scored a good few goals this season, and uh, looks like six altogether, but you know the good thing is, that is we're getting him in Get a couple of days and hopefully it'll be ready for the weekend if needed. Is he the type of player that we really needed within the squad? If you missed the live this afternoon, and uh, if you check out that, I'll put the link up after the video. Um, we talked about the fact that the players, the age of the players in this squad, and then we compared them to the players and the age of the players in Martin O'Neill's squad in 2003. And then we also did the exact same with Brendan Rodgers' squad in 2017. We had done a comparison of the three squads to show you the age difference with the current squad, and it is a really young squad that we have. Are we expecting too much for that? Go back to the live, it's only a half hour live, and check out what people were saying this afternoon for that. With Lewis Palma expected to be unleashed to the Celtic media any day now it's, uh, it's pretty fantastic that we've got another player in although like I said he is only 21 and Brendan Rodgers did ask to get some players in with a bit of experience will we get in a defender and a holding midfield player with that experience that we need now another fantastic bit of news this afternoon is we're finally getting some rid of some of the deadwood at Celtic, which we'll all be happy about. Um, we're getting a guy that is taking 18 grand a week off the club and has done for a few years. And let's face it, Albi Energetti has been nothing but short of absolutely one of the worst signings that Celtic have ever made. He made 47 appearances and scored just nine goals for Celtic. And he went out on loan last summer, uh, last season. And you know, even Stum Gratz didn't want to take him. The fact that Celtic are made, taking a hit of, in the region of four and a half million pounds on this guy is unbelievable. But just to get him off the wage bill, uh, we'll free up some wages. But we will, will we bring anyone in of a, a quality that can push for the first team and make a big impact? This is the thing that we've all been asking this week. Getting these two young guys in is okay for Celtic. But the, but the manager did say at the weekend, we really need players in with experience. If you like, go back to the, as I said again, go back to the video from the afternoon and we'll talk about the experience, we spoke about the experience in Martin O'Neill's team age-wise. Even in Brendan Rodgers' first time at Celtic, the comparison of the players' age was then shown to be magnificently more experienced than what the current crop of players is. For instance, the average age of Martin O'Neill's team was 29. The average age of Brendan Rodgers' team the first time round was 25. The average age of the current Celtic team is about 22 and a half. So take from that what you want and see what people say in the comments this afternoon. Now going back to the Matthias deal, it looks like that is, is getting very, very close. It looks like it will be confirmed. The deal could be worth up to £6 million. Pounds. It looks like Celtic are going to go in with about £4.3 million pound offer. And um, it looks like they're going to add add-ons for winning the league and such like and performance. So that looks like it might actually happen. It'd be fantastic if it does. It looks like it's deal done actually, the, some of the things that I'm seeing already. But what do you think? Is it the type of player that we needed? When we're going into this transfer window, we thought we would be a lot further ahead. Let's get some of the comments of what people are saying about the transfer window so far. 
First up, I'll go to Andy Boy who says, My God, we have had a bid for four million for a 21 year old Danish project who scored 15 goals in his senior career. He is five foot eight. These tall signings are not what Brendan Rogers ordered. I can see him walking shortly, says Andy Boy 67. Next up is Jim Boy 01. He says, Baz, I am nearly 70. I followed your great club since getting my first scarf at the grand old age of three days. Lol. I feel totally let down by the board again. I have not enjoyed any part of this season whatsoever. I can't help wondering what the F is going on again. The board is taking the mince. Hail, hail. What do you think about that? Some of the other comments that are coming in just shortly are, <laughs> one of the comments says, I had a season ticket back in 2003. Good times. And that's obviously in reference to the video from this afternoon. Next up on the channel is Brantz89. He says, Sutton is correct. Fans have long memories. So if he doesn't get his finger out, people will want him gone. Talking about Brendan Rogers, And that was in this morning's video. He also went on to say, see, see these last minute signings that Celtic fans deserve better. We've got the cash. So what is the hold up? Uh, the change of tactics against them. Kyogo is better up front. The amount of people I've said there will be a last minute major signing. So that's all in today's Celtic F FC News. Tell me what you think in the comments section of the video. Another one, just one more from the live from the th this afternoon. The video from this afternoon was titled How Would 2003 Celtic Cope with Today's Social Media? So it was a bit of a controversial video to, to do. Uh, he says, uh, Daniel says, Hi, I'm from South Africa. I'm not a young guy anymore. The Lisbon Lions was my team. What a team and what a, what a time to be watching Celtic. You must have absolutely loved that. Uh, I was one of the jung jungle boys. Six shillings to get into the game. What you call a real Celtic team. The team of 2003 would absolutely smash the Celtic team of today. You could give them a three gold lead and they would still trash them. Hail, hail. So there's been some fantastic comments uh, on the channel today. It's been absolutely fantastic to read them. Hope you enjoyed the lives today and I shall, shall see you on tomorrow morning Celtic News when hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more players in the door before the transfer window shuts slam shuts at the end of the week on that note have a fantastic evening celtic fans all around the world Lit. Roll up to the